<laughs> All right, so what's your name? Uh, Takashi Nakagawa. Okay, so I love your photos, Takashi. Nice. Are you going to, should we order? Oh, no, I'm holding your tonight. Ah, no, it's okay. So we're currently having a nice dinner by the Kyoto River. All right, so uh, Takashi, why do you why do you why do you make photos? Um, basically, I like the process of taking the picture. I like about making the images for to show the people, but also I like the process of the getting access to the people. I try to I want to know more about the people in this planet. So this is what the current best reason why. I take photos. Why do you want to learn more about people on the planet? I don't know because uh, I just want to learn, I just want to feel, I just want to know what's happening. Not only myself, not only uh, this city, the Japanese, uh, so I want to know everything. Why? <laughs> I don't know, just from my curiosity. I also want to know about myself, my group, my family, my friends. So I really uh, love your recent uh, Kyoto series. Oh, thanks. It's very personal and what is, why is that project personal or important to you? Uh, basically why I started that project is that I left my hometown 10 years ago. At that time I didn't really, I wasn't interested in about the Japanese culture, about the Kyoto. I just wanted to travel around the world. I just wanted to know more about the difference of the different culture. Then I just uh, last year I realized that I missed a lot of the moment. I, lot, I missed a lot of the important things. I missed a lot of the the memories. So then I decided to come back often and then talk with the friends and the family, especially my. A niece and nephew didn't recognize about me. It was oh, very sad. that's sad. <laughs> yeah, that was a very the big, yeah, the moment in which I decided to do this project. So, because it's interesting, you've done a lot of photography overseas in like Georgia mm -hmm. and all these foreign countries mm -hmm. in Thailand. Mm -hmm. What does it mean for you to photograph foreign countries versus your own country? Um, Actually, almost the same. When I take a picture, when I make a project, I need a reason. So in my hometown project, I just wanted to uh, know more about myself, my family, and uh, my memories. And uh, when I take a picture in the, in the foreign country, there are uh, the, like, the some element which uh, like, uh, connect to me. Like in Georgia, I took the picture, I made the project for my friend. And so in Bangkok, uh, last year the, they lost their king, and uh, my Thai friend told me that he was like their father, and then I lost the father too, like the more than 10 years ago. So this is our connection, the common things between them and I, me. So yeah, this kind of thing. I just don't, I just don't simply go to the some kind of place and make a project. I need a reason to make a project, huh. you know, even in the other country. So when you started to photograph your hometown Kyoto, mm -hmm. what did you learn about yourself? Um, the first really, I just didn't know much about myself. And after taking the picture, I just learned from my pictures. Not only that taking the pictures, after, like, after I took the picture, I just left my photos for a while, like a half, uh, like six months later, when I saw my picture, I just, I feel like uh, seeing myself, like seeing my soul, or seeing my heart. So I'm learning my, about myself from my pictures. So what did you see in your heart and your soul? Uh, basically, I like the... You can order a drink. <laughs> keep going, keep going. All right. Order your drinks, I'll keep interviewing you. <laughs> Japanese tea? Uh, <laughs> 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 <
ちゃんウランちゃんウランちゃんは一つ。So what you learn? So what? What you? So what you learn about your soul? Sorry,、uh, I like the beautiful things. I like the light. I like the shadow. But especially、uh, when the, when there's a light, there's a shadow. When there's a shadow, there's a light. So I like the contrast. So I just learn myself from the dark side and the bright side. And、um, yeah, I don't. I'm interesting about about myself. I'm interesting about the, what I like. I've been doing street photography for a while, and I, I just realized that I like making images on the street, but I don't like walking on the street for a long time. Like I don't want to walk on the street in Tokyo for like a one or two years. <laughs> Then I switch to the, my personal project, which I really appreciate that I I knew about myself. Because I think one thing I like about your photos is that a lot of the photos are very optimistic and happy and quite fun,、mm-hmm. but some of the photos are a little bit dark and sad、mm-hmm. and a little depressing.、Mm-hmm. Um, do you feel like you would personalize your your personality the same way too? Is that sometimes you're optimistic, but、yeah. sometimes you're also a little bit yeah. like yeah. Yeah,、so. pessimistic?、Mm-hmm. Like, tell me more about that. Basically, I want to be the happy person. I want always want to enjoy life, like you.、Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But sometimes I feel depressed、uh, because I've been having the migraine headache for a while, and、uh, yeah, I lost my father. I got divorced. The, my life is has been changing a lot compared to the other people. I. Used to dream about being the professional、uh, sailor. I used to dream、oh. about being the Olympian, and then Olympian I, what? O,、uh, go to the Olympic for sailing. Yeah. Wow. The, I couldn't make it, and I gave up. So wait, why I, couldn't you make it? Yeah,、uh, because it's just simply because I wasn't doing enough. So I I knew、uh, that I wasn't doing enough, and I know how hard the life is. I got depressed a lot. Then I came back, and so yeah, this is my life because that showing to my project, my photos. Oh, so for you, photography has been a way to battle depression or find more happiness and meaning in life.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so.、Um, how does photography give your life more meaning or happiness?、Um, just. Trying being、uh, a photographer made me、uh, go to the go further. If I didn't take a picture, just I I wouldn't be like not a, like a friendly person to the others. I think, and、uh, I made a lot of friends. I went to a lot of different places, and、um, yeah, just photography made. My life happier, brighter.、Uh, how does it feel when you're making photos?、Uh, sometimes I feel very happy. Sometimes I'm feeling sad. The, in the end, I just enjoy about the, making the project and just enjoying the process. So, do you get more enjoyment from making pictures or from looking through your pictures and choosing your best pictures and selecting and editing them? Or is it just different for you?、Uh, editing and sequencing is like、uh, trying to make art, trying to make a like a book or exhibition to show the others. But when you take a picture, it's like、uh, for me it's quite different. Like I more recently I more concentrate about the process of making the picture. Like I want to do more meaningful things through the photography. So I enjoyed both, but these two processes are quite different. So when you're out in the streets or when you're making photos,、mm-hmm. how do you know when to take the photo?、Um, I don't know. Just simply walk on the street or meet the people, and when I feel I want to take a picture, I just grab the camera. Sometimes I don't really recognize whether I'm grabbing the camera and taking a picture. Oh,、yeah. so it's like subconscious. Yeah. 
how do you know when to take photos when you're with your family? Because I really love your family photos and the photos of your nieces and nephews. Mm -hmm. And I actually, to me, those are actually my, my favorite photos. I actually like those photos more than your street photos. Because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, I want to make good photos, but, you know, I'm so busy with my family mm -hmm. and there's all these kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, when you're with your family, are you just always taking pictures? And how do you know when to take pictures of your friends and family? And um, I, I don't really know. <laughs> I just been with a friend and family, and uh, when I feel I want to take picture, I just take a picture. So I don't, I'm not like thinking much. I'm not using my brain for oh. taking pictures. So it's good to not use your brain when you're taking pictures. Mm -hmm. Do you use your brain when you're looking through your photos? Mm -hmm. So. Describe to me the process of choosing your best photos. Um, I just don't want to uh, choose the picture right after I take a picture because uh, my emotional the feeling when I take a picture is into the photos. It's very good, uh, like uh, using the emotion, the feeling, feeling to when you take a picture. But when about uh, sequencing or editing, probably uh, it's good to leave it for like half a year half a year or one year and then uh, to disconnect your personal emotion and then just to see the picture because our picture is basically to show the others and uh, I'm very I do care about how the other people feel think about my pictures do you see your pictures as you mm, I think so so if someone said Takashi, I don't like your pictures. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that means somebody says, I don't like you? Uh, I don't feel that. <laughs> so in a sense that you are not your photos or are you your photos? Because uh, a, lot, a lot of photographers get very... Um, like if someone doesn't like your photos mm -hmm. and someone says your photos suck, mm -hmm. they take it very personally, they feel very hurt, right? Mm -hmm. But if someone doesn't like your photos, mm -hmm. like... Someone could not like your photos, but still like you as a person. Mm -hmm. So, like, what kind? Do you is your ego attached to your photos, or like, do you distance yourself from your photo? Like, uh, do do you know what I'm getting at? Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Honestly, when there are, like people saying to me that like I like you, but I don't like your photos, I feel very bad. I feel unhappy, but. Uh, it doesn't mean that uh, my photos are not good because uh, my photos are like very meaningful for myself and um, like my personal project in Kyoto as long as my friends and family like my project I don't care I, I don't really need to care about the others I still care a little bit but I, I like I like your pictures thank you so much <laughs> I think Cindy likes it too right <laughs> Takashi, do you like his photos too? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and I, I, think, uh, I think I'm your friend too, so... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my project taken in Georgia, that project is for my friend. So as long as my friend like my project, so I'm very happy and mm. I have achieved. If you started photography all over again, how long have you been taking pictures now? Uh, four years. Four years. So if you went back in a time machine, you're 35 right now. Mm -hmm. So if you went back to your 31-year-old self and said, okay, this is Takashi from the future. I'm going to give you some advice on photography. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give your 31-year-old self? Um, I, I've been taking a picture of the landscape for the first years, and uh, I got tired of it. And then I started taking a picture on the street. And then uh, probably in the third year, I started uh, uh, reading the book, the photo book which made me really uh, go up to the high level. Oh. So probably if I, uh, I could have a chance to tell, tell myself, probably the reading the book, uh, so buying the lots of books. Buying lots of books. Yeah. So what, what, what are your favorite photo books? Uh, my least favorite photo books are uh, Min Min Minutes to Midnight. Minutes to Midnight by... Trent Park. Uh-huh, Trent Park. Yeah. And uh, Exile from Joseph Kudelka. Yeah, Kudelka. <laughs> And uh, I like the, uh, the books from the Alex Webb or David Al Harvey. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, if people want to see more of your work, mm -hmm. what's your website or what's your social media? Um, uh, your, your, uh, 
of my website www.takashinagawa.com. Can you can you spell Takashi Nagawa? T A K A S H I N A K A G A W A dot com. Nakawa. Nakagawa. Nakagawa. Japanese names are so hard. Nakagawa. So Takashi Nakagawa dot com. Nakagawa dot com. Yep. And uh, my Instagram, I got Instagram, which is uh, Takashi Nakagawa Photography. Sorry, it's too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll link to it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll link to it. And then, uh, what's your, what's your, actually, what's your email in, peop, in case people want to email you? Uh, Takashi Nakagawa Photo at gmail.com. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, any, any last question you want to ask Takashi, Cindy? Are you good? Okay, so we're going to enjoy our nice dinner here over the beautiful Kyoto River Whoa. okay see if I see the camera <laughs>